हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द्वारिका फ्रॉम अबाउट क्यू ए डॉट कॉम एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ सलेनियम वेब ट्रॉयर सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू सी हाउ सलेनियम वेब ट्राइवर इंटरेक्ट विद सफारी एंड हाउ ऑल द स्क्रिप्ट गेट एग्जीक्यूटेड इन सफारी इट मीन्स हियर वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट the communication channel between safari and web driver so safari driver has been implemented as an as a plugin or we can say as an extension that should be installed on safari and once it will be installed selenium web driver or we can say the web driver instance can interact with safari so here the interaction between scripts and browser is more like a server and client relationship where whatever the binding language binding we are just using it as a client means whatever the information we are just seeking those will be conveyed by web driver and it will be handled by safari driver server so whenever we are just going to initiate safari driver then it will initialize the safari driver server and once it will be up then it will try to communicate with the safari driver or driver server and once the communication between web driver and safari server get established then it will start all the script execution so let's begin with the steps those are involved in this process so the very first thing that we need to do is to download the extension for safari so why not we open the safari and we try all the stuff inside the safari in place of other browser so i'm just going to open safari here <coughs> and inside this i am just going to open selenium hq.org so it will open the selenium headquarter website here we will go to the download and further we will roll down and we'll go to the safari driver here we can see safari driver now require manual installation of extension prior to automation it means we need to download this extension and further we need to install this and along with this we can see that latest release that is available in the market is 2.48.0 and here is the wiki page where we can just read all the information related to safari driver but before moving ahead i would like to inform you that apple has just stopped its support for safari on windows and that is why i am just trying this on mac machine so let's begin with the download so i'm just going to click on this so it will start downloading this extension here and once this extension will get downloaded we will double click on this then this pop up screen where extension installation take place occurs now here we have one message are you sure you want to install the extension then we will just click on the trust and it will install it okay so here we can see that it has just checked enable web driver checkbox it means whenever we are just trying to run any of the script in safari using selenium web driver this checkbox should be enabled suppose you have just installed this extension and you are just trying 
to execute your script and you are saying that communication between safari driver server and client is not established then i would suggest to just go to the preference just go to the preferences of safari and here inside the extension just come here and enable this and once it will be enabled we can just execute our script now we have done with the installation of this plugin in safari now we are just switching back to the eclipse where we are just going to write the script so let's get back to the eclipse so let's create one script with name here i am just going to create one class safari driver example and add this main method in this class here i am just going to create the instance of safari web driver so for that as we have previously seen that we need to create one reference of driver a web driver and we are just going to assign it with the object of safari driver okay now let's resolve this error and one more thing since I have already added all the configuration of Selenium web driver that is why I am able to resolve all these errors and if you don't know how to configure Selenium web driver then I would suggest go to the Selenium web driver tutorial playlist that I have just created and you can just watch there that how to configure Selenium web driver in Eclipse so now I have just created the instance of this safari driver let's move further and open the website suppose i am taking about qa.com so now i am just going to execute this script so run as java application and going to minimize this so here you can just see one client communication has happened it's more like uh, initializing the selenium rc and running the script so let's get back to the console of eclipse and let's see what kind of information we can just read from there that what has not what has happened there so just get back to the eclipse and here you can just see safari driver server started it means server has just been started okay and this has been started at 260.27 port now it is saying that safari driver command executor has been started and it has just launched the safari but still the communication has not been established now here you can see waiting for safari driver to connect still it is trying to communicate and finally the connection is open and here you can just see that driver connection has been established in 1570 millisecond it's more like a 1.5 second and once it will be established it will execute the script so we have just seen that whatever the script we have just written that has been successfully executed in safari browser thanks friend for watching my video and if you like this video then please subscribe and like this video thank you